We bring you the latest updates from the PNA Newsroom. The Philippines and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia have agreed to lift the deployment ban on Filipino workers in the Middle East starting November 7. In a virtual press briefing, Migrant Workers Secretary Susan Tuts Ople said both countries committed to a joint partnership in protecting the rights of Filipino workers and to working together against the trafficking of migrant workers. A technical working group will also be created to monitor the implementation of labor reforms and jointly resolve the concerns of workers. They also agreed to implement a blacklist and a whitelist of Saudi recruitment agencies and employers and to implement a fully automated recruitment process. In their joint statement, both countries expressed appreciation for the significant contributions of overseas Filipino workers to the Saudi economic and social development. The Department of the Interior and Local Government reminds local government units or LGUs to avoid acquiring or using luxury vehicles for their operations. DILG Secretary Benjamin Abalos Jr. called on local officials to be economical in choosing vehicles and comply with budgetary, procurement, and auditing laws. He said local officials should be role models in carefully using government funds. He said LGUs should procure vehicles that are cost-effective, fuel-efficient, environment-friendly, and up-to-date in standards and technology. The DILG classified certain types of sedan or hatchback, passenger vans, multi-purpose vehicles, and sports utility vehicles as luxury vehicles. The Philippine Space Agency has warned about the possible crash of the debris of a Chinese rocket in Philippine territory. The space agency is monitoring the Long March 7A rocket, which was launched from the Wenchang Space Launch Center in Hainan Island, China, yesterday evening. It has determined two likely drop zones of debris, namely 71 kilometers from Ilocos Norte and 52 kilometers from Santa Ana, Cagayan. The space agency said, while debris from CZ-7A is unlikely to fall within the Philippine territory, fallen debris still poses a considerable threat to vessels that will pass through the drop zones. It has urged the public to report any suspected rocket debris in the sea and refrain from touching the material. To help address shortage of classroom and learning facilities, the Department of Public Works and Highways will be constructing the new main academic building of the Polytechnic University of the Philippines in Santa Mesa, Manila. DPWH National Capital Region Director Nomer Abel Canla said, the soon-to-rise modern nine-story main school building will replace the old structure and will be implemented in phases. Phase 1 will start with a north wing with a budget of 187.3 million pesos and is estimated to be completed in 12 months. Kanla said this is one way of welcoming back the Escolar ng Bayan with a bigger and better learning environment. And those are the latest from the PNA Newsroom. Stay tuned for more updates on the biggest stories throughout the day. I am William Theo. Good afternoon, everyone.